Hey guys, I'm out here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I'm taking an elevator straight to Seattle. Really, I'm take, hauling an elevator and I'm taking it to Olympic College near, near Seattle. Uh, so, today we are talking about force fed. What is force fed? Well, first of all, I am a Star Wars fan, so anytime I can incorporate a little Star Wars into something, I will. And I just really love the idea of force fed. Nice play on words, you know, use the force. And it's like shoving it down, but it's the way you want to chug down this force fed because it is a very, very helpful process. So what is force fed? Remember, it is a sequential set of steps that will help you to be successful. And I am going to prove it as you follow along with me in this vlog. So, before we start, I have to tell you what it is, don't I? So, like I said, they're sequential. You have to follow them in order. Um, you can try to do it out of order but you're going to make it worse and harder on yourself it's like when i was in new york um, i was a uh, missionary for the mormon church several years ago and you know knocking on the doors and talking to people about god so anyways my companion and i we had had a really long day of work and we were just exhausted we came home we uh, sat at the kitchen table and we were just really lazy, right? Well, tired, lazy, tired. We didn't want to get up, right? So, but we were hungry. So I reached over, there was a broom handle. I reached over and I grabbed the broom handle. This broom handle became my best friend for the next half hour because I was able to reach over, open the freezer door, and see the burritos that we were, I was gonna eat for dinner. But I couldn't just pull it out because I was tired. I didn't want to get up. So what did I do? I took the, the broom handle off. You know how you can separate the bristles. And I reached over and I grabbed the dustpan. I was able to scoot it over. So I attached the dustpan to the broom handle. And I used it as a shovel. I picked up the burritos and pulled it out of the freezer, put it on my table. And then I closed the door, of course. And then opened up the, the burritos. I thought, hmm, I still want to cook these. And of course, I'm not going to just microwave it because I don't want it microwaved. I want it to taste good. So I'm going to use the oven. That means I got to reach the oven. So took the handle off of the broom the dustpan off of the broom and then you know like the little knot notch that they have on top right to, to hang the broom up well I took uh, a knife well I scooped it up I used the dustpan I scooped up a knife from the dish rack and then I used the knife to cut a slit on the knot on the the hook so now it had a nice little pinch point right so I reached over to the oven and I was able to grab it and turn the knob so now I can turn the oven on to 350. So then I took the the broom handle because it had a little more leverage because it was screwed in. I was able to use that to pull the oven door down. It was a little heavier. So I pulled the oven door down, reattached the dustpan, scooped up my burritos, put them in the oven, closed the door. That whole process took about 30, 35 minutes. All right. It would have been faster just to go ahead and pull the burritos out, stick it in the oven. It could have been done and I could have been halfway done eating those in the same time it took for me to do all that, right? What is my point? My point is I believe that sometimes the smartest pe the the laziest people are the hardest working people in the world because we're always trying to be lazier, right? If we if I had just gotten up, 
I could have saved myself a whole lot of trouble, but no, I wanted to be lazy. I was so insistent on being lazy, I only made up made more work for them for myself. So with the steps of force fed is the same thing. You can go out of order, but I promise you, if you're going if you go straight to R and then to C and you don't have the F and O, then you're only going to make it harder for yourself. And then you're going to be wondering, well, what did I do wrong? I didn't start with F. So let's start with F. F, that's my F. F is for focus. Focus, okay? Uh, a fox who chases after two rabbits will catch none. Do you get that? A fox who chases two rabbits will catch none none. A fox who catches one rabbit has a much better chance of eating that night, right? But if he catches two rabbits, he's so distracted, he can only follow one or the other. And if he's so busy twirling out of focus, then he's going to have a hard time, right? So, what's the point? <laughs> point is we need to focus. Focus, in this case, is an acronym. Okay? Follow one course until successful. Focus. Follow one course until successful. We need to have a set direction. We need to have a path that we're going to follow. And it's going to vary for different from different people what it is exactly you want. It's time to iron out what you want. For example, I'm going to use myself as an example so that you can see my process and you can see where I'm coming from and what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment or email me any questions and I will try to answer them the best I can to help you, coach you through your process. But I'm going to show you through my process because I'm demonstrating <laughs> how this process is going to help me. Okay, right now, my goal is, you know, I can say that my goal is I want to lose some weight. I'm still uh, 100 pounds too heavy according to my own standards and I would like to lose some of this weight now for me it is not enough to say I want to lose weight I for most of us because losing weight is a very vague term and if you want a vague results then it starts with with then it's everything's going to be vague you want me to is it is important to be specific right I want to lose weight but why do I want to lose weight what is the whole point of losing weight? This is where where it is important that we become crystal clear. We want our why, our our focus. We want our why, our point to be so crystal clear. We want to have a clear vision. Um, Stephen Covey, author of Habits of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. One of his habits, I think, is the second one, is begin with the end in mind. Have a very clear picture of what you want. Lose weight. Lose weight is not a very clear picture because losing weight could come from a lot of different ways. We could get cancer and through the radiation, radiation treatment, we'll just get all that weight zapped out of us. That's not exactly what we want, is it? Uh, we could get liposuction, invasive surgery. That seems to be all the rage these days there are other ways to do this so we want to say lose weight we have to be a lot more specific what do you want in the end for me personally I have a couple goals I want one I want to be healthy <laughs> I want to live long enough to see my kids graduate from high school to see them have their own kids um, one thing is I like I said I'm a big Star Wars fan and one thing I would like to see is to put on a star Stormtrooper costume, join the 501st. I think that would be really neat to be able to join charities and do that kind of stuff. But I've already decided for myself, I am not going to be one of those really round Stormtroopers. Okay, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to picture in my mind what it is I want, right? I want to be healthy. I want to picture myself skinny enough that I can don a stormtrooper outfit and look authentic, right? I want to be able to run a triathlon or race a triathlon. 
just to say that I can do it. I think that would be a really neat experience. I want to be able to, like I said, live long enough to see my kids have kids. Um, so that is a lot more than just being skinny. I'm trying to picture myself right now, you know, running a race. I just finished the swim. I just finished the bike. Now here I am running, you know. It's going to be great. And I'm finishing. I can just picture myself doing that. I can picture myself in the Stormtrooper costume. I'm going to hospitals and visiting people. I'm going to schools and making visits and sharing, you know, presentations as a Stormtrooper. Maybe as even Darth Vader. That would be cool. And there's no way I'm going to be a fat Darth Vader. Santa Claus Vader. <laughs> you know, that's not going to work. I've got to, you know, represent. So I think that would be really cool. And I'm picturing myself doing that. Um, for you, be specific. What do you want exactly? Picture in your mind. What is it going to look like? P figure out a scene. Describe the scene of what you're seeing yourself doing. If, if health, for example, is, is your goal. Because... I'm pretty sure 80 to 90 percent of the people who are on this is thinking health. So, what is it that you want to look like? And it, it may not be just losing weight. Some people here maybe need to gain weight. Uh, I know several people who uh, struggle from malnutrition and and have health issues that way. So they're looking at the other direction. But we want to focus on what we want. Once we focus on what we want, we can go from there. But we have to have a path. Uh, one of my favorite quotes of all times comes from Gordon B. Hinckley. He says that those who continue to move forward with a happy spirit will find that things always work out. Things will always work out. Okay? But you have to keep moving forward. What does moving forward mean? It means you have a place to move forward to. And you have to have a specific plan or a specific destination of where you want to move forward to. So, I want to challenge you. If you have a goal, right? You say, I just want to lose weight. I just want to be healthier. Okay. Picture exactly what does looking healthier look like to you. What kind of things? Are you fitting in skinny jeans? Are you putting on your old high school letterman jacket? Are you putting your wedding dress back on? Are you um, playing dodgeball with kids in the backyard? You know, are you racing? Are you lifting weights? Is Whatever your goal is. You know, playing soccer, uh, going dancing, rock climbing, um, whatever it is, just try to be specific. What it is that you want, and if it helps to make a make a uh, a dream board or a vision board. Um, you may have heard of this concept, maybe you haven't, but make a collage or something that you can put in a prominent place of what it is that you want write it down so you can look at it every day and remember what it is that you want and don't be afraid to uh to readjust you know every once in a while reassess is this really what i want like for example go back to the burritos you know did i really want the burritos as much as i want you know was that my goal kinda but what was my main objective through the whole thing it was to sit I did not want to get up. That was priority numero uno. I needed, wanted to sit down. And then, I wanted to get a burrito, but it was not going to interfere with my desire to sit down. So as much as I wanted a burrito, I got distracted by the fact that I really wanted to sit down, right? Because if, if I really wanted that burrito bad enough, I would have got up and just did it. Like I said, I, I would have eaten it a lot faster. But no, I had to be lazy. It was more important to sit. I'm looking at my shadows. It's kind of cool. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, but, you know, it is. it was more important 
that I sit down and not do anything than to actually have the burrito. So, you know, like I said, picture exactly what you want. Exactly. And don't settle for less. Don't, don't dream small. Dream big. Dream really big. Get as high as you want. Look at yourself in the future. What is it exactly that you want to look like in your future? Five years from now, 10 years from now, start from the end. Start with your epitaph, right? Your eulogy. Someone's at your eulogy speaking. What do you want them to say about you? What is it that you want? Uh, Stephen Covey, in his book, he talks about, you know, starting with the end in mind. He says, picture yourself at your own funeral. And you have four speakers, four speakers. You have one representing your family, one representing your social life, one representing your employment or school, if, if employment, if you're not employed yet, or whatever, a professional life, and then one representing your uh, religious or volunteer life, right? Just whatever, whatever that might look like. So picture in your mind, what are they saying at the funeral? What is it that you want them to say? And then go from there. How are you going to get yourself in a position to be able to fulfill that uh, goal? So, and then from there, you can kind of plan out how you want it to look. Did you want people to know you as a giant fellow or a skinny fellow? <laughs> um, maybe that's not that important to you. Maybe it's maybe other things are in your way. You want to start a business and you want people to recognize you for the hard work you've done. You know, whatever it is. I'm just saying health because this is force fed nutrition and I'm pretty sure about 90, like I said, 90 to 95% of you are going to be looking here for health uh, improvements. And so that's, that's going to be the first thing I, uh, that's going to be where the majority of my uh, focus is, my focus is, is towards you guys. Um, but yeah, remember, follow one course until successful. Know exactly what you want. Follow your why. Because a person, a uh, fox who chases two rabbits will catch none. All right? Tomorrow, we're going to O. Any guesses what O stands for? You'll see.